Hey YouTube, we're again. We are out here at a luxury home. We in the SWATs. <laughs> we in Atlanta out here on the southwest side. In the SWATs. Looking at a luxury home. This house is five bedrooms, five baths, 3,660 square feet. So, pretty big house. I'm recording for the same client I was recording the last house for and got hit with the same thing. Really, really nice house. Beautiful house. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I only seen the first floor. <laughs> We're going to see if the house is really nice. They got a large parking pad, which she needed in its own an acre, but. She made it a point to say that she don't want to clear it out. And this is what I see. Like, this would be perfect for somebody else because it's on an acre. And if you want to clear it out, you can. And if you don't, you don't really have to. But if you want to clear it out, it go all the way back there. Uh, she ain't going to like it, though. She said she had to clear out her last house. It was on, like, three acres, and she had to clear them out. She really didn't want to do that again. So don't know how this going to go with her. But three-sided brick. I think it's, yeah, three-sided brick. I was going to say four-sided, but nice three-sided. Really nice house. Might be recording it for somebody else, though. <laughs> I know it's on a basement. I know they're doing a lot. They're they switching out a lot of stuff. Y'all will see. Cause like I said, i seen the first floor. I love that little archway. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Let me address something that was in the comments. Listen, when I say luxury... I am strictly speaking on price. I know y'all say, oh, well, you can't just say price when you do luxury. It's too subjective if you use anything but price. That's why I'm strictly speaking on price. What's luxury to me might not be luxury to you. It's the entrance view. So when I say luxury, it's 550 and above. I'm talking price. If I was to list a house and it's over 550, it's considered a luxury listing. So I'm talking strictly price, not design, not the material used to build a house, 100% price. Because like I said, it was luxury to one person and luxury to another person. Like I am from Callow Road in Glenwood. Staying in a one-bedroom apartment in 90. Luxury for me ain't going to be the same for luxury for you. Background, stuff like that determines what you view as luxury. So, talking price. <laughs> Strictly price. But... Talking too much. <laughs> you got your family, not your family room. Be a sitting room, dining, not dining room. This be a sitting room, more like an office or a flex room, as they call it. Like I said, that's a new word I learned for it. It's flex, but it's a flex room, office. If you put a door on it, it's your sitting room, formal living room. That's what I was looking for: formal living room, not living room. This be a dining room. This is what I mean by they did some work. This is new. They switched out. The appliances, they redid the floor. So they redid this floor. I don't know if they just buffed it or they put down a whole new floor, but this floor new. Oh, matter of fact, I'm gonna take my shoes off. I'm glad I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> take my shoes off. See, they got that. I'd rather just take them off. What's this? Half a bath. So it ain't five bathrooms. It's four and a half. Oh. <laughs> kind of like mirror a little bit. <laughs> the little round mirror. Like that a little bit. What is this? That's different. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. It looked like they just painted over the, the graphic. I don't think they were supposed to do that. But it don't, it don't look bad. Look like they just put this in. Because this house was built in 06. So they might have just did this. I know they just did these. This is brand new. We're walking in a minute though. Got our family room. Real high ceilings, a lot of windows. I know a lot of people like the windows. The windows be a selling point to a lot of people. Catwalk. I love the catwalks. <laughs> That's a me thing. Yeah, this 06 with the little cutout. <laughs> this was meant for the big booty TV. I don't know. How would you mount a TV now? With the, 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 would you have to fill that in? But yeah, that was meant for the big booty TV back in 06. When you wanted to put a big TV on the wall, had to cut out the back. <laughs> Them the days, younger people ain't gonna know what we talking about when we say big booty TV, fireplace. I know y'all don't like the electric fireplace. I don't think it's Bluetooth though, but that gotta be new. That can't be that old either, cause like I said, house 06, I don't think they had the electric fireplace in 06. Come in here, this brand new. 
That's your keeping room, eating in kitchen, as somebody say. Eating kitchen, keeping room area. They switching out some stuff over there. We're going to go over there in a minute. Ah, I took my shoes off. Now walk on the porch. Now I'm just going to show you all the porch. Come back this way. Would this be the butler's cabinet? Or would this be the butler's cabinet? I think this is more of a desk. This is a desk and a wine, winery thing right here. And then this your butler's cabinet. That's your butler's cabinet. Basement. Not finished, so I need to get my shoes. I thought this basement was finished. Might get my shoes before we go down there. All right, let's walk into the kitchen real quick. The kitchen, brand new cooktop they finna put in. So that's brand new. They ain't even put it in yet. It's the old one. I think they put it in a brand new oven. I know the dishwasher brand new. And then they finna put this appliance up right here. I think they finna put it over the top of the, the bar. Right there. Not the bar, but over top of the uh, island. <laughs> You're not getting a refrigerator, though. You have to get your own refrigerator. All new appliances coming soon, so they're going to switch this out. They switching out most stuff. Like I said, they doing for the price point because this, this is an expensive house. At least they selling it till you good to go. You ain't got to come in and do nothing. I don't know if they gonna give you the refrigerator. Can I walk down there without messing up my socks? Let me see. Three car garage, really large parking pad. I don't know if I mentioned that when you was out there. The parking pad you fill a bunch of cars on it, and you got the park. And you got the three car garage. I'm just gonna give y'all a peek on the bay. Oh, the balcony. Give me one second. When I do my little come in and cut the lights on, I'm gonna start unlocking the doors. Making sure the doors are unlocked too. Yeah, before we go in the basement, step out a little bit. Nice deck. Nice deck. Like I said, it's a nice size yard. You, if you got like a, I don't know. I would say you got like a dog. You can fence off the the yard with the trees and stuff and just let him roam. I don't know. I don't know if you would want to do that. I think most people want to clear it. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think, what y'all would do. Come in here. We did the floors in here. I had a client. I think the highest house I ever sold. This would have drove him nuts. He, he, his biggest thing is he didn't like the floors to be different. You see how this is going the long way? Then this going that way? He hated that. <laughs> that would have drove him nuts. And so this right here would have drove him crazy when the floor would switch out. Oh, he put in a new toilet. Oh, he got the towel. They got the plastic tub. No, they gonna like that. He ain't go all the way up to the roof though. Ceiling. And go to the ceiling. Somebody corrected me on that too. <laughs> it's like it's not a roof. It's the ceiling. The roof is outside. <laughs> I know. I know. I just be, you know what I mean? Sometimes I switch it out. I like that. I need a fan, but I like this. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That's something you put over a pool table or something. I like that. I put that over a pool table. I think it's a closet. Yeah, regular size closet. Ain't nothing huge. It ain't small either. This your guest bedroom, so it don't need to be too big. You don't want them to stay. Oh, they got the double side of stairs. Let me go up this way. Check out upstairs. Gotta make sure I grab my shoes before I go in that basement. I thought it was finished. Redid the flooring up here. Okay, so they came in, changed out the appliances. It's bedroom number two. So you get this house that's expensive. When they say I say the price at the end of the video, but you get in the house that's expensive. But they making sure when you move in, you ain't got to do nothing, which is beautiful. It's an in-law suite, in-suite, on-suite, whatever you want to call it. Brand new toilet. Got the towel instead of a plastic tub. Well, tub plastic <laughs> with the shower. Don't go all the way up to the ceiling. No, that was one of the complaints. Coffee ceilings. 
Okay, so it's bedroom number two. What's this? Cleaning closet. What's this? Plunger. <laughs> they got one of them hand wash sinks. You be seeing these all the time, even now. But I don't know how many people. Like I said in the last time, I said that though people with baby clothes and stuff hand wash them. Well, that seemed like a tight fit for a washer and dryer. I guess you had to put the washing machine right here and then turn the dryer the other way. It seemed like a real tight fit. There's enough space, but side by side ain't gonna work. It's the primary, so we're gonna come back to it. Love the catwalk. Love the catwalk. I love these. <laughs> I love the catwalks. This is my thing. I love that. Okay, so you got bedroom number three. They labeled it. <laughs> to make sure. Biggest closet. Decent size. Let me get back here. Okay. Feel king size in here. They're not blocking window. Jack and Jill, I think so. Yeah, because it's got makeup counter and sink. They can close off, come into the toilet with the shower. Yep. Tile, not plastic. Brand new toilet. Come in here with the regular cabinet. So I'm guessing it'll be the. You got a daughter. You put her on that side with the makeup counter. And your son on this side. Yeah. This room bigger, but the closet smaller. At least it looked like the closet gonna be smaller. Bigger room, smaller closet. And more so for the boy. The other side for the girl, Jack and Julia. Huh, ah, about the same size. Probably about the same size. Just ain't got the makeup counter on this one. Got the makeup counter on the other side. Let's go check out the primary. That's bedroom number four. Ooh, primary look nice. Double doors. Walk in. Like I said they redid all the floors, got the sitting area. Oh. Probably here look nice. Once again, I don't know how you would mount your TV. Because they got the mounts for the, the big booty TVs. So I don't know how you would mount the TV now. You probably have to just stand it on here. You won't be able to mount it. But you got the fireplace, electric fireplace, sitting area over here. I always thought this was the sitting area, but everybody you watching the video said they put the bed on this side and use this part as the sitting area. I don't know. <laughs> like, Y'all got to tell me. Like, my decorating skills ain't the best. Nice size bathroom. Bathroom big. Double vanity, makeup counter, big jacuzzi tub, big shower. Ooh, they got the shower head. They got the seat. I ain't gonna step in nothing, I ain't got no shoes, I don't know the floor wet. Don't wanna walk around with wet socks. Got the seat, got the shower head I like. It ain't, oh, is it high enough? I wanna get in there. I ain't gonna get in there. They made me take the shoes off, so I ain't gonna get in there. Not gonna get in there. Linen closet. Water closet. Like I told y'all, that's what people call it. They said, why I call it a water closet? It ain't me. This is one of the Bluetooth ones I was telling y'all about. I don't understand why you need a Bluetooth exhaust for him, but hey, <laughs> it is what it is. And I'm so corny, I buy one. Oh, she left her stilettos. Sax Fifth. Okay. Big money. Double sided closet. Hers and hers. <laughs> I done learned enough from doing this as long as I done done it. You know that even with this big old closet, they're going to put you out, please. You're going to have to find you somewhere to put your clothes. It's hers and hers. And you're going to have to go somewhere else. All right, y'all, let's go check this basement out. I was thinking about, like, editing out the part with me walking down, back down, still edit it out, and just pop back in when I get to the basement. To cut some time off, y'all let me know if that's a good idea. Try to make the videos a little better. So y'all give me some ideas and stuff. I listen to the comments. I be and when I be saying stuff back, I don't be arguing with y'all. It's more so like just getting feedback. That's why I tell y'all to comment, comment, comment. 
Give me the feedback. Help me make the video better for y'all. That's new to me. All right, let's go this way. I wonder why they wanted me to take my shoes off. Hard wood throughout the whole house. Ain't no carpet. I could have sworn this was finished. Well, it do say 3,660 square feet. Mm, smell wet down here. We got to leak somewhere. Mm. In the description, it said it's finished. That's probably why I ain't sold yet. People pulling up thinking the basement finished. I should call her and let her know. They probably don't know. There's a leak somewhere. Let's see if I see it. Really big basement. Now, this thing will be really nice once you do finish it. Let's see if we can find the leak. This thing huge. We still going. There you go. It's coming from right here. Okay, they know about the leak. They got something wrapped on it. The leak coming from right here. You can smell it. When you come downstairs. <laughs> this basement is huge. Jesus. <laughs> we still going. Furnace. Hot water heater. Good God, the basement big. Okay, so you can finish it out. And you have a lot of space because it's already 3660 upstairs. And then you got this basement this big. And like I said, the backyard ain't, it ain't bad for most people. I just know she's, she made it a point to say she don't want to have to clear the backyard again. So this might be, might kill it right here. She might see the beginning of the video and be like, ah, I don't even want to watch the rest. Nice house. Just she don't want to clear no basement no more. So let's head back up here to the kitchen. Oh, I should have said the price before I came out in the basement. I'm sorry, y'all. Price on this house. It's $699,990. So right on the 700 I hate when they do that. <laughs> What's $10? What is $10 on a $700,000 house? I ain't get it for 700 I got it for $699,99. <laughs> what? That's something, honey. Let's do the 700 All right, let's see. I'm going to point it this way. I'm going to do a little outro. I went the whole time without getting one text message. As soon as we get to the end. You know. All right, you guys. Like I said, the price of this house. That's all of my. Am I going to hit that? Bill, I ain't hit it. Price of this house, $699,990. Which, some hundred thousand. <laughs> house is really big. But it might not be for the client that I recorded it for. So if anybody else is interested, all my contact information is below. We are in the SWAT, southwest side of Atlanta for people who are not from Atlanta. And they're doing a lot of work in here, which is a plus, biggest plus. But until next time, YouTube, you're out of here, fellas.